Here are two common symptoms of dry eyes that patients don't often think are from dry eyes. Hello friends, Dr. Boparai here. I'm a cataract surgeon by training, but I also take care of a lot of dry eye patients. Dry eye disease is a condition that affects over 30 million Americans, and it can not only impact you physically with symptoms, but also emotionally. You can only imagine the toll if you constantly felt like there was something inside your eye 24 seven. So be on the lookout for these two symptoms because they're often missed and patients don't think that they're related to dry eyes. Symptom number one, watery eyes. Whenever a patient comes in with watery eyes and I tell them it's because of dry eyes, they often say, doc, how can my eyes possibly be dry if they're watery? Well, there's a reason for this. Your eyes are watery because they're dry. When your eyes are dry, your body senses that. And in response, it produces what are called reflex tears. If you have dry eyes, those reflex tears are created in such abundancy that they don't settle in your eye that well. They can lead to that sensation of watery eyes. They can also run down your cheek. Often patients are constantly having to wipe their eyes throughout the daytime. And of course, these reflex tears are not of the same quality that your body produces at baseline to keep your eye lubricated. Those tears are called basal tears. You get watery eyes because your eyes are dry. Symptom number two, inner and blurry vision. Patients that typically have dry eyes will come in and say, I get intermittent blurry vision. They'll describe it as my vision is at times blurry. I blink, it clears up for a little bit, and then it gets blurry again. This cycle continues because when you keep your eyes open, your tear film evaporates. And when it evaporates, it leads to the onset of dry eye symptoms. One of the hallmarks of dry eyes is rapid evaporation of your tear film. When your tear film evaporates away, your cornea can get little pockets of inflammation and when you look through that, it can be seen as blurry vision. The way I describe it to patients is like looking through your glasses, but there's a smudge. Now, when they blink, that blurry vision gets better. And the reason for this is when you blink, you replenish your tear film. However, as you keep your eyes open, that tear film breaks apart, evaporates away, leading to a dry cornea with the onset of blurry vision. I've seen a lot of patients buy new prescriptions, but they're not addressing the underlying cause, which is dry eyes. So you have to pay attention to these symptoms because if you have them, you wanna get checked by an eye doctor and come up with a plan to manage the dry eyes. Now, while dry eyes are chronic, they are manageable.